Okay, another part through the Tessup nightmare. Never buy Tessup. So, what I did with the Chinese uh, shaft here, I basically drilled and tapped this. It had a pre-drilled hole there, so I just put the 1364 bit in there for a quarter 20 uh, tap. So that's tapped in there. My second thought was to extend the shaft up. I'm gonna machine this down to size, but I also tap this to quarter 20. So that will be Loctited down. So what I was gonna do is put this on that shaft, Loctite it to there or spot weld it there and then grind the sides after I weld it, filling that gap that's in there between there and the bottom of the shaft where the uh, turbine comes down on cutting this part down hollower down to a smaller diameter to fit up in a tube but now that i was thinking about this and i need some suggestions from anybody out there that was going to be on there and then i was going to do another set of set pins like these i only have two from the factory i was going to do another one here another one here on this side to give it the stable things but also now that i look at this this quarter 20 i could actually run a rod That die, you know, smaller than that, but the quarter 20 all the way down that hole. That goes all the way through. This is a hollow tube. They're too cheesy to even send solid uh, tube for this, but uh, this is hollow all the way down. So I can actually run a quarter inch threaded rod all the way down, then put a centering piece on this little bevel and pull it tight. Pulling that tight down would make all the force sit on this bearing surface right here excuse me so pulling this down from the quarter quarter 20 rod that would come all the way down the shaft would actually pull center this and then push the bottom collar against this bearing surface and this one's the one that spins so it's that whole thing spins with the shaft with the generator so that would spin around but that would give me a surface that's square to this and have pressure to pull it down so it wouldn't have a wobble per se uh that the play that this gives so i may bo do both i may make this tighter tolerance than this so it takes out some of the wobble put the second set of uh, pins in so i'll have to tap and thread those and then have the quarter 20 actually come down and meet this block uh i have to get another tap i guess to get the uh, quarter 20 i almost made it through it's just the last 16th inch or so in there that uh, I can't get the uh, tap doesn't go down far enough for a quarter 20 uh, I could also probably just cut this thing a quarter quarter inch off no problem to make that uh, distance with the threaded rod but if I'm pulling threaded rod this way up so if the, all the tension is pulling up this way pushing the turbine back down on this collar that should make it a little bit more stable and like I said, this collar is the one that spins. So, any suggestions from anybody out there? I'd appreciate it. Any uh, other mechanical engineers out there that think they have a better suggestion of making this shaft a little bit longer besides welding this thing on to it, which I might do afterwards. I might tack weld it and then save the seams and then polish it and everything. But uh, that's what I'm probably leaning towards because I definitely would put two welds, one on each side, and then... Uh, you know, or at least you know half moon welds on both sides so it wouldn't separate quarter 20 this and then pull a threaded rod all the way up to the center of the top there this way it can be uh, pull that tight down on there and maybe less wobble or no wobble hopefully anyway uh, in the back light that's my tilting plate that I made that's all half inch steel these are all solid steel rod uh, bar solid bar so that's it three quarter inch hardened bolts on here class eight bolts then the uh five eighths on the sides four of them for the locking down and uh that's it and then i got my tower set up over there this was the top plate four stainless steel uh nine sixteenth bolts coming through there and had this plate hot dipped, galvanized up at a local place. And I got my tie down 
connectors, 6,500 pound collars on there. So getting there, moving along. This is the problem child still. This I'm going to replace with a uh, metal one. I, this plastic one even just just moved when I was monkeying it around to mount it. So I did mount it earlier. These actually do hold it in a horizontal position. I have that sitting like that. Had the thing sticking out, and those four bolts actually held it. The plate didn't look like it was flexing at all. And uh, this is the most of the weight right here. And then that thing's pretty light. So, all right. Any suggestions? Like I said, I'm going to probably pull a uh, quarter inch rod all the way through this and up to the top on top of that. And besides welding this to the shaft. So, all right. I'm going to fade out here and uh, head back to work. I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight.